I enjoy making these Yu-Gi-Oh videos, but man, magic is where it's at. Hey guys, it's Awesome NES, and I'm coming at you today with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Um, pardon me if my voice sounds a little weird or whatever. I'm a little sick, and also I'm trying to fix a new space here in my room to record, because this is going to be where I'm going to be recording, I think, from now on for a little while. But anyway, today I wanted to talk about something that's been a little controversial in the past for Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, it is a banned card. I want to talk about card destruction, and why I think it should come back. Uh, really, the simple answer is hand traps. Now, a lot of people's complaints about Yu-Gi-Oh, especially recently, has been hand traps are too powerful. Uh, there's not much you can do to stop them, and that's mostly true. There are very few cards that stop them besides what I think it's either Mind Drain or Skill Drain, something like that. Uh, cards in the hand cannot activate, or monsters whose effect activate in the hand cannot. I'll have an image of it up here somewhere. Uh, yeah, so no one wants to run one of those in a deck but a good card that you could run in a deck to make your opponent lose those hand traps would be card destruction now with it I think uh, it should only come back to one <laughs> because more than one card destruction you know per player per deck or whatever could be horribly annoying and probably just a bad move on Konami's part anyway but I do think having one would be very nice because, as far as I know, there actually aren't any hand traps that can negate a spell that activates from your hand. Um, let's see, I went over Max C, Ghost Ogre, Ghost Reaper, uh, Ash Blossom, uh, Droll, you know, those kind of cards. I don't think any of those are going to actually affect uh, your card destruction. So, by playing one card destruction, you take the risk of uh, either removing your the hand trap from your opponent, of course, you have to lose your cards too, but it's really nice, you know, if you, if you play all your cards, hold on to a card destruction, play it, remove those, uh, and potentially take away a hand trap from your opponent, and there's just nothing they can do about it. So, that's really one of the best ways I see in the future right now for them to take care of hand traps, is just bring something like card destruction back. Uh, right now we have, uh, what is it, Tr Trickstar? No. Yeah. Trickstar uh, Reincarnation which banishes your opponent's hand and um, does stuff with Trek Stars. I'm not, I've been, I'm not into Trek Stars a lot, but I do know that that card is just dumb. <laughs> that card is just really dumb. And it's the only way currently though, the only common way I've seen of, to make for card removal uh, for your opponent. Now with card destruction uh, coming back, if it were to come back, that would mean that each player could run one in their deck uh, because I would, like I said, it would be limited. Um, so you'd have to deal with up to two card destructions per game. Uh, if both players happen to draw before the game is over, or you know, if either, either player decided to even play it. But it is a very smart and preemptive way to uh, not have to deal with hand traps. Again, if it's, if you're lucky, it, and probably you know, card destruction is an easier card to play around now anyway. Because a lot of the time, most of your stuff is either going to happen on the field, you're going to get everything out of your hand. Uh, you know, we're dealing with Pendulums and, you know, uh, True Dracos. Uh, those are gone. Zodiacs are gone. That kind of stuff. Pendulums and Spiral, I think. I'm pretty sure Spiral will get out pretty fast. But a lot of the time, you're, the opponent is going to play a lot of their cards out. And if they have any cards in their hand left, it's probably a hand trap. Which means... But then you have a perfect opportunity to play your card destruction, take away that maxi, take away that ash blossom. Uh, what's more annoying? Probably maxi. Just get rid of maxi. So take away that maxi if they. Even though it's a quick effect, it could activate there. But at least, I mean, if you have a turn ahead, I don't know. If you're not ready to go off yet, uh, say you're not playing Zodiacs or something or a Pendulum Magicians or something like that. You have a chance to get away from that Max C. 
And I think that's really just anything people are looking for right now. Uh, just ways to stop hand traps in, dead in their tracks. And I think card destruction being limited would be a great way to do that. Now, I want to know your guys' opinions in the comments below. So let me know what you guys think about card destruction coming back. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.